I mean, ultimately, he will withdraw. Is he going to stick this one out? I see no prospect of his withdrawing. That's not his psychology. Um, and sort of what would he do if he quit? It would be such uh, self-immolation. Um, and he's, he's not someone who says, I'm sorry, very often, or has guilt, or sort of recognizes when he's made a mistake. He just motors through, and I think that's his only real option. Well, set up the debate for us then. I mean, is he going to come out with all guns blazing? And we've already heard him say after the first debate he, he regrets not raising some of Bill Clinton's actions while he was in the White House and his allegation that Hillary Clinton was, as he says, an enabler. Do you think he'll follow that tack to defend himself? I think there's every likelihood that he has to do that almost. When he's punched, he always punches back. Uh, that's just the way he does things. I mean, he spent time last week uh, tweeting at 5 in the morning about uh, the former Miss Universe candidate that he uh, had called fat and Miss Piggy. And when Hillary brought it up, he just couldn't resist. So now he's been accused about his sex life. In his statement yesterday, he accused her of being an enabler and a terrible person because of her husband. Um, so what else can he do? I mean, he's, he's going to say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, over and over again. He likes to punch, and I think that's what he has to do to please his crowd. Well, too. let's broaden it out bit by bit. The Republican Party, I mean, even when he got the nomination, huge sections of the, the Republicans, the grand old party, were, were shocked, to say the least. I mean, we're, and we're hearing them now, senior figures. Mm. I suppose the very bulwarks, the pillars of the Republican Party, are refusing to support him. But what difference does that make to him? I mean, he, he's not a, a regular Republican. Yeah. And where can they go? Uh, they have no mechanism for removing him from the ticket, even if they wanted to. He essentially has to quit himself. And even if he quit, getting a new candidate in the mix uh, with all, states are already starting to vote, uh, you'd have to get a new candidate on by state by state. A festoon of lawyers would be involved all over the place because it would be so unusual. So all they're doing now is essentially saying, whoops, we've really made a mistake here. Please don't take us down with you. And that's why we're having, I think, so many people who, who really don't like him and have loathed him to some degree for a long time, but figured it was too dangerous for them as Republicans to alienate his base, saying, oops, I just can't go any further, and I've got to figure out some way to distance myself and hope, hope that I'm not brought down in this tidal wave. And on the morality basis, I mean, you know, look at the so-called Bible Belt supporters of the Republicans. How's this playing with them? Well, it's interesting. The Mountain West, the uh, Mormon communities, they're the, they've been the fastest in a way and they've been the most uh, determined to be offended by him. A lot of Bible Belt uh, people do find him offensive, but they will say, I find Hillary Clinton's possible presidency more offensive and I'll just hold my nose. I mean, there is an awful lot of, I think, uh, tension and anxiety, and the Democrats' hope is that a lot of Republicans just don't show up because they can't bear to vote for him. And if that happens, then they do have a prospect of perhaps uh, doing well in the Senate races and the House races, which would be their, of course, greatest hope of all. Okay, the consolation prize. But, um, I mean, is he one more terrible leak away from having to give up. We think about the, there were those tax returns from the 90s, then this. Has he got another chance? Well, we have a debate tonight. He, he might do better. Expectations are certainly low. And uh, Hillary could stumble. I mean, it, it's all, it, we still have a month to go, and we hardly even remember the tax returns, uh, which yeah. was uh, just a week ago. So I, I can't say that he's got it for sure, but it, it does not look good for him. Okay, Jeff, thanks very much indeed.